Hi guys, my name's Melanie Newman. I'm a professional dog groomer. This is my dog Dash, and in today's grooming session, I'm going to show you correct brushing techniques. The equipment we're going to be using is a non-slip mat, two towels, a medium-sized slicker brush, metal comb, and the Relax Coat Conditioning Spray. Before we start, it's important to make our dog feel safe and secure. So what we've done is, we've placed our non-slip mat on our bench and then placed our towel on top of our non-slip mat. This helps create a non-slip surface so when we're grooming our dog, our dog's not going to slip around. With our slicker brush and our coat conditioning spray, we're going to start with our front legs. We're going to gently lift it, making sure we're moving our leg forward, not sideways, because this is a natural movement of our dog's leg. So gently hold it outwards, and Dash is falling asleep. Gently spritz the area and then gently brush up. This doesn't hurt the dog, it's just separating the coat and getting out any little tangles or snares in the coat. And now we're gonna continue into the body and we're gonna pay particular attention to the areas that get knotty and might get food stuck in them and one of those areas is around their muzzle. So what we're gonna do is we're gently gonna cover his eyes and then gently spritz the area that we want to brush, which is his muzzle. And I'm just going to use the corner of our slicker. Brush through his muzzle, making sure he's got no food and no dirt stuck in there. Other areas include behind their ears and brush both directions. Make sure we get any little tangles out. As a professional groomer, one area I see a lot of getting matted is underneath our armpits. Make sure we get down to the level of the armpit and making sure we're not pulling that arm out sideways. It's important to support their knee. We need to hold the front of the knee and then gently brush up and down and be mindful not to turn that knee around. So once we've gone through his whole body, what we need to do is we need to use our metal comb to ensure that we've got all the knots and the tangles out of his coat. If we do hit a bit of a knot, so here, we don't rip it through, so we're not gonna force it through. Give a little spritz and then pick our slicker back up and then gently separate that coat. Good boy. So now we've groomed our whole dog except for our tail. So it's the most important part of our dog. So what we want to do is we want to brush our dog's tail downwards. We're going to gently spray our coat conditioning spray through the tail and we're just going to do bit by bit, so section by section. Now Dash is all brushed out. He's ready for the park and ready to dig some holes. I normally groom him three to four times a week. If you've got a dog that's getting groomed shorter, so your dog might get clipped a lot shorter than Dash, that's fine. You can brush your dog once or twice a week. So just depending on your dog's lifestyle. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video and want more grooming tips, please subscribe to our channel.